Okay, in this video, we want to solve this problem right here. And in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist has categorized specific limit problems, and the other playlist has uncategorized just random problems. Now, what I typically do is see if direct substitution can work. So it's saying the limit as x approaches 5 to the left. So if I plug in a 5 here, I get 5 squared, so 25 minus 25 is 0. So the numerator is 0. Likewise, the denominator, I put 5 minus 5, I also get 0. 0 divided by 0 is a red flag, but you have to approach this problem in a very specific way. So let's begin. So what I'm going to do is break down the absolute value of x minus 5. And the reason is, it behaves a certain way. Instead of having the absolute value of x minus 5, I can change it to regular x minus 5. And I can do this if I factor in the limit. Let me show you what I mean by that. So in one case, I'm going to keep it as regular x minus 5, where I'm ignoring the absolute value sign. Now this occurs whenever x is greater than or equal to 5. Let me show you why that is. If x is 5, we have 5 minus 5, which is 0. Likewise, if x is 5, we have 5 minus 5, which is 0. They're identical. Likewise, let's say x is bigger than 5. Let's say 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. Likewise, 7 minus 5 is also 2. So they're identical. Now, this is different. This says negative parentheses x minus 5. And this occurs whenever x is less than 5. Let me show you an example. Let's say x is 4. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is, in fact, 1. Likewise, if I put a 4 here, 4 minus 5 is negative 1. But there's also a negative here. So a negative, negative 1 is, in fact, positive 1. So they're equivalent. Now, for this particular problem, it says x approaches 5 to the left. So what we're actually going to focus on is on this piece right here. Additionally, this numerator, we could actually factor. So let's do that. We're going to do a couple of things right now. So we have the limit as x approaches 5 to the left. Instead of having this numerator, we could say x plus 5 times x minus 5. And they're equivalent because x times x is x squared. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Likewise, x times negative 5 is negative 5x. x times 5 is 5x. 5x minus 5x is 0x. And our denominator, instead of having the absolute value x minus 5, I'm going to copy this form right here. So we have negative parentheses x minus 5. And now once in this form, we notice x minus 5 is in the numerator, x minus 5 is in the denominator, so we can cancel out. And now we can rewrite this limit. We'll have the limit as x approaches 5 to the left. And we have this negative. This negative didn't go away. So we have a negative parentheses x plus 5. And lastly, now we have to swap. So we're going to change x to 5. So we have negative parentheses 5 plus 5. And 5 plus 5 is 10, so we have negative 10. And that's our final answer. And that's all we need to do for this problem.